United Methodist delegates have repealed the church's long-standing ban on LGBTQ plus clergy members. At their general conference today, which was their first in five years, delegates voted to take away both the ban of LGBTQ members from being appointed as ministers, as well as a measure that wouldn't penalize a church for performing a same-sex wedding. Five News reporter Lauren Spencer joins us now with the impact this might have on local congregations. Lauren. It's a historic day for those United Methodist churches. I spoke with one pastor who says this 40 year ban has been a long battle and there was a part of him that didn't think this would ever happen. But he says today's news is definitely exciting. The historic ban on gay clergy and also gay marriage have been lifted. It's all about choice now for United Methodist churches, Pastor Terry Gosnell says. The General Conference is not forcing anyone uh, to have a gay pastor or to perform a same-sex marriage. If the congregation uh, feels like they want to do that, then they have the choice. Wednesday's news, he says it's something he always hoped for. And I was just thrilled. He says his church, Trinity United Methodist Church in Fayetteville, has been a reconciling ministry since 2012, which means they welcome all people of any sexual orientation or gender identity. There were a lot of frustrated folks here uh, in our community that wanted to make sure that people especially the LGBTQ community in Fayetteville and in this area, had a place where they could go. He says these changes will hopefully make people feel more welcomed into their doors. It will give a signal to people that we are a place uh, where you're welcome and not just welcome, but affirmed. Reminding people Methodist churches can now do whatever they're called to do. It is a day that um, some of us are celebrating. There are some people that are sad and upset and I wish them well and I extend love to them because I believe that Jesus loves everyone. These measures take effect after the general conference ends on Friday. Lauren Spencer, 5 News.